experience. Um, it means, oh, thank, thank you. Where's the crying baby? There are no crying babies? Come on, somebody pinch a baby. Uh, it means so much uh, to me to be here. Uh, I, so my, one of my first Disney memories was right there, wondering if I could push over the Epcot Center ball. Um, I was that kid. Um, um, and now I have those kids, it's awful. Uh, but it, it, it's amazing because every time I come here, I fall back into the mindset of a seven-year-old. I was running around with my son today, and I was like, I hope no one sees me doing this because everyone's going to think I'm insane. But when I saw, it's, it's just magical. It's a magical place. It's the place where you come and where everyone tells you how not to act, how not to think, how not to imagine, how not to dream. And this is the place where that's okay. And that's kind of amazing. So, I'm very excited to be here and hopefully we have a little bit of time to imagine and dream together. So, if you didn't know, Walt Disney started the Candlelight Processional 50 years ago at Disneyland. Go figure, right? <laughs> and since then, millions of people have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glamorous music of the holiday season. So I invite you to sit back, relax, kick off your sandal shoes, whatever you're wearing, and enjoy this magnificent orchestra, which has an oboe and a harp. <laughs> hey, you don't find those everywhere, you know. I, I, I saw it, I was like, she just walked up with an oboe. Uh, <laughs> can't even get on the airplane with that thing. And then, this magnificent orchestra, the best trumpet section in the land, 